Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Um, I made a video recently talking about shadows in Eevee, and someone asked me a question about how I get just sort of generic outdoor lighting um, in Eevee and make it look good. And I'm going to show you how I do that in a quick video here. If we just come over here to our actual world, um, this is the one that I'm using currently. It still needs some tweaking, but as you can see, it's also kind of complicated. We're gonna get about like 99% of the functionality out of two nodes. Um, so we can just come in here, whoopsies, and we'll just make a new shader. So inside of our world shader, all we can do is add in a sky texture and make sure it's set from Nishida to this Hosek slash Wilkie, because it's one that works in Eevee. Just plug it in, and now all of a sudden you can see we have a generic looking skybox, looking pretty good. The only downside with this is that it's controlled by this weird trackball, and I find this very difficult to control and get results that I like. Um, I, I'm, I'm just not a huge fan. But I found an add-on which is built into Blender that solves this very, very nicely. We just come to Edit Preferences. Uh, preferences, there we go. Under Add-ons, search for Sun, and you'll find Sun Position. This is just built into Blender. You just enable it. And then now, under our world settings, you see there's a new tab called Sun Position. All you have to do to set it up is set your Sun object as a sunlight and your sky texture as this sky texture right here. And now you can control all of this with intuitive, actual time of day calculations. Take the time, slide it over, boom, now you get some nice sunsets. You can use a north offset to kind of like rotate it around, or you can even input real world latitude, longitude coordinates and get kind of real world positioning of the light, which is pretty cool if you're doing any sort of real world renders. But for generic, just using north offset and the time gives you really good control. Now one downside, as you can probably see here, is we don't actually have a sun in the sky. Now there's a bit of a, down, uh, a bit of a bummer, but it's not that big of a deal because most of the time you'll be having it at 12 o'clock. And as you can see here, you still get the highlights of the sun in reflective materials. So it's not that big of a deal. Most of your reflections will have the proper sun reflection and you probably won't even notice that you're missing a sun. Um, and you can add that back in. If we come to my kind of more complicated one, you see I, one, have kind of more correct lighting and shadows, as well as an actual sun in the sky that uh, changes as it goes up and down. So I can make a tutorial on how I made this one. Um, if you'd like, it requires a lot of drivers and uh, controls. If we look over here under the light, um, I also use a very nice add-on called black body temperature, which I also recommend. But for 90% of this, you can just use this shader right here with literally two nodes. If you want, you can add in a hue saturation just to kind of bump up the colors a little bit. Um, and yeah, you have about 90% of the control. So yeah, I hope this helped. Um, so I hope that helped. And let me know if you want a tutorial on how to make this uh, more complicated sky texture. But for the most part, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and... Um, yeah, I'll see you later.